Hi there, Alex here at MixingLessons.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between recording in long takes, so recording the song all the way through in one go, versus recording in shorter takes, so maybe recording verse by verse, chorus by chorus, or perhaps even line by line. We'll talk about some of the implications of doing it those two different ways and why one of those two options might be a little bit more beneficial in certain circumstances. Before we dive in, if you make music in a home studio, then head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads and download a copy of my EQ cheat sheet, my compression cheat sheet and my vocal recording guide. They're free and they're really useful guides to have in your home studio. Okay, so when it comes to recording, if you're anything like me, when you sit down to record some tracks, you hit record and for whatever reason, at that moment, you completely forget how to play whatever instrument it is that you're recording. It's very common, happens to a lot of us. And so what will tend to happen in that moment is that you'll record a little bit and then you'll make a mistake. And the natural thing that most of us will do at that point is we'll stop and we'll start again. And what tends to happen is you'll almost always make the same mistake again. And if that happens a few times, you keep getting to the same point, you keep messing up. What a lot of us will then do is we'll say, right, okay, I'm just going to go through this song verse by verse, or maybe even line by line. So I just have to get that one line right. And we can end up recording an entire song sort of piece by piece. Now, my advice would be to try to avoid doing that if you can. Now, you might say, well, okay, but I keep messing up. Uh, what can I do? Well, I think the best thing to do is to record the song all the way through. Even if you mess up, carry on get to the end of the song and go for two, three, four takes of each song all the way through. Now, you know you messed up in that take, so you know you're going to have to do another take. Keep that take, but straight away go for another one and do it all the way through, start to finish, and even if you mess up, carry on again. Do this process three, maybe four times if you have to. What will happen is you'll start to get into the flow of recording. The nerves will die down a little bit and you'll stop overthinking it. You'll stop panicking every time you get to that point that you messed up the last time. And if you go through this process two or three times, four, maybe more if you have to, then usually what will happen is the last take that you get will be 99% perfect. And then all you have to do is go back to the other takes, the previous takes, and patch in the little bits that weren't so good in the last take. And usually in the previous takes, you often won't have gone wrong in the same places there. So I find doing three, four takes all the way through usually gives me enough to create one perfect take that I'm happy with that I'll then use in the song. So even if you know you've messed up, carry on and get to the end of the take and do that over and over again. That process really works for me. Whereas if you keep stopping and redoing the same parts over and over again, and you then try and build this song out of lots of small takes, First and foremost, on a practical level, it's going to take you ages to edit the whole thing together. So it's going to mean doing a lot of work after the recording's done, a lot of editing work. But I also think that quite often, songs that are recorded like that, or parts that are recorded like that, can sound a little bit unnatural. You can sort of hear a bit of inconsistency, and you can sort of hear, or maybe feel in a way, that that take has been pieced together, rather than being one long take of the whole song. Now, obviously, that's not a hard and fast rule. I do know some people who do record in lots of small takes, and sometimes it can sound really, really good. But just in general, I prefer the process of recording in longer takes than shorter takes. Now, obviously, if you take that final take, or whichever take is the best one in your opinion, and then any little bits that you think were better in other takes, you patch those in, and there are still parts where you don't have a good take, then obviously you can then punch in and redo that part, do a short take just to patch into there. But in general, if the majority of your take can come from one long take, I think it tends to sound better. And I think it's a lot less work. I think it actually takes a lot less time to record several takes all the way through and then just patch in any little parts from previous takes into the take that you're going to keep than it does to go through a whole song line by line or verse by verse, chorus by chorus, section by section, and then try and edit the whole thing together. And I also think it's really good practice for you when you're recording. I think when you constantly stop each time something goes wrong, you sort of train yourself into thinking that oh, I'm not very good at recording or I don't like recording. Actually, you just have to kind of break through that barrier a little bit by accepting that you've gone wrong, but carrying on with the take. Because then by your second, third, fourth take, it's going to feel a lot more natural. It's going to feel a lot more comfortable and those nerves are going to have died down. 
And so you're then sort of training yourself to think, actually, I am quite good at recording. I was just a little bit nervous to begin with, as most people are. But by not stopping and letting those nerves get the better of you and carrying on through the take, you start to train yourself and you start to look at recording in a different way. So that's my little bit of advice. Might not work for everybody. Um, as I say, I know people who do prefer to go in shorter takes and it works for them and it can sound really good too. But for me, my process is get three or four takes down all the way through and then pick my favorite take. And then anything that I don't like about that take or I think I did better in a different take, I will patch that in. And then if there are still little things in the take which I think aren't quite right and I can't patch those in from an earlier take, then I will punch in and record that short take. So give it a try and it might work for you as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel for future videos. Don't forget to head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads and get your free EQ cheat sheet, your free compression cheat sheet and your free vocal recording guide. And I'll see you next time.